And let's go to Nigeria and some welcome news for the country. The army says it has rescued around 85 people captured by Boko Haram militants. During the mission, around 11 militants have been killed. The operation took place in the country's northeastern Bono state. The army says it's also destroyed a bomb-making facility operated by Boko Haram. Troops found several improvised explosive devices there, as well as suicide vests. Nigeria has recently been making gains against the group, but Boko Haram remains a potent threat to the region. And encouraging news indeed. Let's get you more on that story. I'm joined live from Lagos by CGT and Steji Badmus. Steji, what more can you tell us though about the rescues there where, where there are former hostages now? Well, we do not know where the hostages are. The military is not saying so. And, uh, but what we know is that usually when this kind of rescue happens, uh, the hostages are usually taken to a military facility where they are, are basically profiled and debriefed and uh, you know, they are kept there for a while before uh, they are let go. Uh, so that, that is exactly what we expect would have happened uh, in this uh, case, uh, Beatrice. Well, Deji, Boko Haram is still an issue though, but this is the biggest rescue since some of the Chibok girls were freed earlier in the year. So how encouraged are Nigerians that the army is making headway against the group? Well, no question at all. I mean, this rescue, for instance, is, is a very encouraging news in the sense that uh, we haven't had such uh, for a while now, uh, and this is happening. Uh, people, of course, are no doubt, people are positive that the military is still uh, gaining ground now against Boko Haram, even though um, in recent times now we've seen Boko Haram um, uh, come back, so, so to speak, you know, carry out ambush, uh, attack on, on soft targets, and, and, and what have you. Uh, of course, the military blaming that on the rainy season, but then the Air Force has begun uh, a new operation. Uh, just the day before yesterday, the Air Force said it carried out an attack that uh, killed a number of Boko Haram terrorists, including including uh, the wife of uh, 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 Boko Haram leader, Abubakar Shekau. Uh, the military says it is trying to confirm that, but that it has human intelligence now indicating that uh, the wife of Abubakar Shekau was killed uh, in an attack it carried out uh, just yesterday. Uh, so we're still waiting for uh, that confirmation now. So no doubt at all the military is gaining ground. But a lot of people will want to see an end to this insurgency. Uh, but with the way things are now, we just can't see an end to, uh, you know, uh, an end in sight. But um, in terms of the Chibok girls, people are still uh, expecting. The government has said it is still negotiating with uh, Boko Haram and that in, in no time at all they would be released. People are waiting for that uh, to happen. I'm talking about the remaining Chibok girls now, by the way, Beatrice. All right. Uh, Deji Batmos there joining us uh, from Lagos.